A new era is upon us. The Minnesota Vikings have officially let Kirk Cousins walk. Here's Casey with the details. Per Tom Pelissero, the four-year deal is worth a total of $180 million, including $50 million at signing. Uh, Kirk Cousins, of course, gets another monster payday, $100 million guaranteed, uh, breaks down to being $90 million guaranteed within the first two years of the deal, and then another $10 million in 2026. Here are the three biggest impacts that Kirk Cousins leaving is going to have on our Minnesota Vikings. And stay to the end for our overall thoughts on the situation. Number three. The Vikings are going to be looking towards a draft for a quarterback. Something we all kind of knew. Wouldn't you agree with that? Yeah. This video was recorded prior to the breaking news last night that the Minnesota Vikings signed quarterback Sam Darnold to a one-year $10 million contract. Here's my reaction. R-E-L-A-X. Relax. Even though $10 million seems to be a lot for a player like him, and I agree, the one-year deal makes it obvious that he's nothing more than a bridge quarterback for whichever rookie we decide to draft, not Kirk Cousins' replacement. He wouldn't have been my top choice for a bridge quarterback either, but I never cared who we'd sign because they are just a placeholder and nothing more. But at least there is some upside with the 26-year-old, and it's only a one-year contract. After this, he can be gone. Our quarterback of the future can start and be the franchise quarterback moving forward. But now back to drafting a rookie quarterback. A hundred percent. I mean, coming up to this point, like I, I felt very strongly that Kirk Cousins was ultimately going to be on the move. I felt like to me, the writing was on the wall that Quezzy was more uh, more looking towards the future than the present right now with whether that's Kirk Cousins. I think he likes the idea and i think this is totally not i mean it, that's the interesting thing about all this going on is like what's smoke what's not smoke well one thing that i don't think is smoke is quezzy in the front office liking the idea of a, of having a quarterback on a rookie contract and i think this ultimately proves that and it also i also want to bring up the fact that um you know everybody that the reports that came out that he wanted 45 million a year that everybody's like oh that's smoke that's smoke well hey I, it doesn't look like it's smoke and all the atlanta falcon stuff doesn't look like it's all smoke. No. Not everything smoke. There's a lot of smoke out there, but you can kind of read through some things. It's not impossible. Right. But o overall, with the quarterback situation thing, yeah, it, it really feels like the Vikings want to do everything they can to probably go get a quarterback of the future, which really, in, to be honest, it does put us in a tough situation. You know, anybody that watches our show knows that I've always, I've been kind of ready for to move on from Kirk Cousins. If they would have came down to a really team friendly deal maybe i would have been like okay i see why you do that ultimately it was far 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 higher than i would have wanted um to keep Kirk cousins around but that being said i think moving forward here i mean you it just looks like you it, it's hard because i want i wanted him gone but you do know like we are in a interesting situation now we're going into this draft where we feel like we really need a quarterback and we'll see what we what happens with the rest of free agency and who we end up grabbing as like a veteran or whatever but we know the top three teams in the draft with the bears the washington uh commanders and the patriots they all are quarterback quarterback needy teams there's a good chance that all three of them pick a quarterback which would only leave jj mccarthy less left i don't see the cardinals going to grab it so i do think it'd be a situation if that's how it rolled out that the vikings would probably have to move up with jj mccarthy of course now with kurt cousins um playing with the falcons that's one team that we don't have to worry about moving up which is a big which i guess is a, a big thing too that's one of, that's probably the, the biggest team in front of us that we were worried about but now there's all the things going on with the giants interested in a quarterback and moving on from daniel jones and all that kind of stuff so we have to look into that and that's the real situation i mean if all four of those quarterbacks are picked then what are we going to do i mean pick bo bo nix or uh Michael Penix in the back in the second round or in the back of the first round like we'd have to decide on all those kinds of things so there's a big question mark with all of this but overall I really do think um, it's really obvious the Vikings want to go young they want a quarterback in this draft everything about them wanting a quarterback even last year seems even more obvious now with Kirk Cousins walking and the Vikings are probably going to do whatever they can to go make that happen and ultimate I mean honestly like they need to now because otherwise you, a lot of the fan base is definitely going to uh, kind of, you know, the ones that are already not liking the fact that he's gone is going to say a lot of things if we do not end up with, you know, one of the top quarterbacks in this draft. But what's your opinion on this whole quarterback situation and us going and grab a rookie this year? Right. I mean, I thought 
one regardless of whether he was here or not, I still think if he resigned, a quarterback was going to be in play. I mean, we've known that since last offseason when there's rumors about the quarterbacks, and when they refused to extend Kirk Cousins because he because they knew. I mean, this, this is the same thing. This this was the holdup last offseason. Kirk wanted more years. He didn't just want a short band aid deal. That's kind of what we were looking for because we were looking towards the future, no matter what. So regardless whether Kirk was here and now he's not, mm -hmm. I don't think the mindset change, changes. <clears throat> I think that they need to get a quarterback this year and like you said it's ever more important now because I mean, that's the thing you can let kirk cousins walk but if you come in with no backup plan and you don't get your guy it's a pretty rough look right and mm -hmm. with a guy like Quazy, who you you could say he's on the warm seat right now because he has made some questionable drafting decisions this becomes ever more important for him to get this one right at the quarterback position because there's yeah. a it's a deep quarterback class uh that there's been expressed interest already and the fact that you're gonna let Kirk Cousins go I mean yeah you're gonna have to bring in you're probably gonna have to bring in a veteran guy or roll with Nick Mullins or whatever but you're gonna have to make an aggressive move up the draft board and they need to go get their guy so it's a big one man it, it's an absolute big one but yes the Vikings do need to adjust the quarterback position in the draft have to do it. number two to me, this shows me that Kwesi has a plan and he's willing to do everything he can to stick to it. Um, obviously, this is a big one for him. What is your thoughts on Kwesi and moving forward with this team, with him sticking to his guns? Absolutely. So that's the thing. I And I kind of touched on it in the last uh, last segment as well. Like, Look, I, I think everything he was saying about wanting Kirk Cousins back, I, I do believe that was true. Like, I think there was a part of them, and I think Kevin O'Connell is a big advocate for it as well. I think at the right price, they definitely would have taken Kirk Cousins back here. But again, it all came down, like Kirk said, it all came down to structure, right? And the thing that you really, whether you like whether you like Kirk moving on or you don't like Kirk moving on, if you're looking towards the future of this franchise, and the future of this franchise, hopefully with Kwesi and Kevin O'Connell, is going to be past what Kirk Cousins would have been here anyway. Mm -hmm. It's good to know that Kwesi set a precedent last offseason about what kind of contract he would have given Kirk Cousins. And this shows me he did not fold one bit like because i bet had we offered a little bit less money but tossed the years on there that kirk wanted he probably would have he probably would have taken the deal so mm -hmm. and again i'm not saying a huge cut i'm probably saying you know probably around 40 million instead of the 45 or what have you but but either way i was just super pumped to see that Quazy didn't fold here and he's sticking to his guns sticking to his plan and the, like for the people that don't think that he has an idea of what's going to happen going forward here come on now the, be realistic yes it's a big decision to move on from a steady solid quarterback like Kirk Cousins but it's something that you know some people felt like it needed to happen and it did and you know it's just now he's like I said he's just got to go get it right dude at a hundred percent and like you said with Quazy and like the fan base so all the fans that wanted Kirk around of course are be like Quazy doesn't Quazy doesn't know what he's doing he doesn't know what's go like he ha does no plan whatever you're gonna get rid of you know a good quarterback to me and him sticking to his guns it shows me he exactly knows what he's doing he's been knowing what he's doing I mean now to me it just seems even more obvious that he had Kirk Cousins for two years he came here he gave Kirk Cousins an extension he he signed players to these one-year deals to make the team as good as he he could with the situation he was put in from a cap standpoint to give Kirk a real time to win a Super Bowl but I think I think that was his plan. His plan, as far as competitive rebuild goes, is we're going to try to stay competitive with Kirk Cousins. We're going to give him the opportunity because I do like him and I do think he's a good quarterback. And I do think, like you mentioned, that he did think that the same with KOC going up to this point. But the two years have passed. He Kirk Cousins is older. And I do think there was a 100% chance, uh, 100% um, yeah, chance that during this the rebuild part of this scenario was Kirk Cousins is eventually not going to be their quarterback and they're going, they always wanted to go grab their quarterback to the future at some point. And you can already see the difference between these signings so far in free agency, where you're seeing these guys, these defensive players come on, on more multi-year deals, something that you didn't really see from Quazy in the last couple of years. So it's really obvious that he plans on moving forward. It's really obvious that he has a plan in place and I don't know if it, it probably didn't come to fruition the exact way he wanted it to. He probably wished Kirk Cousins would have signed for one more year this past for this past offseason for $35 million or whatever. And then had an extra year to go grab his quarterback as he is in that, like I mentioned before, in that situation now where where are we going to do with quarterbacks? And we are really now we, we feel almost desperate to go and trade up for one. Um, 
but ultimately i mean he's he's doing what he thinks is right and it is pr getting a quarterback on a rookie contract and building around him with future parts and ex and that's why i think when we get to the next part here uh which is coming up is why i think this guy's gonna stick around number one what does this mean for the future of justin jefferson i don't think much what do you think um, yeah, I, I think it didn't matter. Like everybody that said that he, that JJ only wants to be here. If Kirk Cousins is here, come on now. I, I did never, I never believed that there's some things that were smoked during this whole process. It was smoke because obviously that Quezzy came out himself and said that was wrong. And then the ideas of him trading, getting traded and all those kinds of things, complete smoke. The reality is Kirk Cousins is a good quarterback. Of course, Justin Jefferson wants him. He, Of course, Justin Jefferson wants a guy he knows can get him the balls and at the very least get him some stats. I know, in my opinion, I think Justin Jefferson ultimately wants to win more than anything. And that's the difference. It's Kirk Cousins hasn't pushed you to winning the big games yet, even though I'm sure Justin Jefferson felt like Kirk Cousins could do that. But no way Justin Jefferson is sitting here thinking he's the only quarterback that can bring us to a Super Bowl. There's got to be a question in his head thinking like there's a chance that Kirk Cousins is not that guy either. So to think that oh only Kirk Cousins being here is the only way JJ is going to be here is crazy. And like uh you were mentioned to me before is that's kind of what it was. It was like either is Kirk Cousins is is JJ only going to want to be here for Kirk Cousins or is he more worried about what the future at the position looks like? And like we mentioned last with Quazy, like now you feel confident that Quazy Justin Jefferson just needs to know the plan, and you know Quazy has one. He definitely has a plan. He laid it out for Justin Jefferson, and ultimately, based on what Quazy has mentioned through the combine and everything, like you knew the direction he's going. Justin Jefferson knows the direction he was probably headed towards, unless Kirk Cousins didn't, unless Kirk Cousins was to agree to his terms. So I do think ultimately Justin Jefferson is going to um, be okay with signing here. But again, you know you. There is going to have to be some moves that Quazy makes, whether it is going to grab a quarterback in the future, which I think if he does go up and trade for a guy, I think that's enough for Justin Jefferson to sign a contract because then he knows like, oh, yeah, like if you do that, you're serious about trying to build a contending mm -hmm. team. And then also it will help if you are able to get a solid veteran in the meantime and i personally don't think that is a guy like nick mullins who's on this team because i don't think you can i think nick mullins is more than okay with getting the uh getting the ball to justin jefferson but with all the mistakes and all the winning and stuff i don't think justin jefferson wants to lose anyways regardless if you are waiting for a quarterback to come in and be the future of your team so i do think that justin jefferson jj i keep saying justin jefferson like a million times uh i do think that jj ultimately ultimately would want a guy that can be that can give them a chance to win and not really make as much mistakes as a guy like nick mullins and and we'll figure out exactly who that quarterback would be but ultimately for me justin jefferson i don't think this really impacts that i think he understands that the future at the position is going to be more important for a championship mm -hmm. than uh right now and bringing Kirk cousins back right now for sure. What's your thoughts on all that? Yeah. So, I mean, I I for, like, I like still think he waits till after the draft because I do think, A, this team has to get a quarterback in the draft. And B, I do think he still – I think he wants to see that we follow through with that. But, I mean, but you want to talk about the contracts. He's going to sign the richest contract, richest non-quarterback contract in NFL history, right? And if he wants to look at it from that perspective and the fact that if we get, our, if we get a rookie quarterback on that deal – the big thing is with Kirk Cousins being gone now, you take that 28 million cap hit right now and you're just and you wash your hands of Kirk Cousins' money. And next mm -hmm. year, I mean, obviously we're not factoring in any any extensions yet or the contracts of these guys that we just signed. But next year we were slated to have an, uh, over a hundred million dollars worth of cap space. Right. I mean, obviously that'll change once Justin Jefferson's uh, once Justin Jefferson's contract gets signed. But but without having to push more of that Kirk, Cunny, Kirk Cousins' money down the road and also add more to that with a contract extension. That that's just, that's just that, that opens up so much more room to sign free agents like we saw today. And, mm -hmm. and all of this with having a quarterback on a rookie deal who you hope because Justin Jefferson is there ends up working out sooner rather than later. I, I think, I mean, if you're Justin Jefferson, you got to be, you got to be giddy about this, knowing everything about this team and knowing the leadership that it has and knowing that there's going to be opportunity down the road with a young quarterback and money just to spend on get to get other players on your team to help beef up your defense and just help add more pieces to your offense. So I'm telling you, as long as they hit the quarterback and and, and, get, and get their guy, 
I think Justin Jefferson signs, signs his contract shortly after. I, I mean, Justin Jefferson will be a Viking in 2024 for sure. And the whole trade JJ thing is, is, is not happening. Justin Jefferson will be here. And it's this, I mean, again, would he like to play with Kirk Cousins? Absolutely. But he has to see the forest of the trees here and see that there's bigger opportunities down the road with this direction. Yeah. A hundred percent. And I mean, I, I'm sure it took some convincing to realize like, okay, you're going to go on from Kirk Cousins, but with Kwesi, I think he probably laid out the plan um, as best he could. One that it's obvious he did have and Justin Jefferson knows that he has. And I think it's going to ultimately be um, okay here in Minnesota and okay with Justin Jefferson staying. I do not see him leaving and that. All right, so Casey, what is your overall thoughts on this whole Kirk Cousins situation? How do you feel about this? Is this what you were expecting to see? I mean, I'll be honest. I'm sad to see him go because, I mean, just from a Kirk Cousins the man perspective, like super cool dude, great teammate, really good quarterback, keeps you competitive. But at the same time, the writing was on the wall to me that, that, that this was kind of coming, especially in, rec in the recent week or two when a lot of the Atlanta Falcons rumors has started and, you know, kind of talking about him testing the waters and, and all this type of stuff. When you start hearing all that, you just get the feeling like, okay, I think he's serious, but moving on. And the fact that Kwesi, you know, stuck to his guns, didn't match his, didn't match what his demands were. I just think it's one of those things where I truly believe they tried to come to a compromise, but both parties got what they were looking for at the end. And I think it's, it's best for both sides. I mean, Kirk cousins, did I, do I wish he'd maybe, I don't know. It, it's hard to say, do I wish he'd have turned down more money to stay here where he's, where, where he could have been, you know, with an offense he knows and be a little bit more competitive here. Maybe though Atlanta does have some weapons for him. Yes. But at the same time, again, I'm not going to be one of those guys is going to be blaming him for taking the money. Right. Um, but I mean, unfortunately a lot of the fan base will, um, and rightfully so to to an extent, but I don't know. At the end of the day, it just didn't work out. And both, both parties are moving on and i mean just sticking to what the vikings have it's 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 scary not having a steady quarterback option but at the same time it's it's exciting and crazy kevin o'connell i seriously think i know some people said they they fumbled not getting kirk cousins last offseason and signing a little bit cheaper i seriously think that this is playing out much like crazy and kevin o'connell had thought it did i think they they knew there was a a, a chance Kirk Cousins wasn't their guy in 2024 and there's a plan in place and I'm excited and I'm excited to see how it plays out I have hope I, yeah. I have a, I have a lot of hope it's big it's scary but it's, it's gonna be exciting draft season at the very least it's gonna be an exciting draft season it's gonna be scary um hopefully you know you you have to hope that maybe we trade up early before the draft so it's not too crazy but we'll see what happens there but for me Overall, obviously, I was kind of, I already mentioned it before, I was already kind of ready to move on from Kirk Cousins. Um, I think I was really surprised ultimately what the contract was for the Atlanta Falcons. I didn't really believe that he was he wanted 45 mil. Maybe it was less, but I'm guessing he wanted at least 40 mil. Now I'm thinking it was probably between 30 and 45 couple year deals as far as Quasi goes. Hopefully that information comes up for us to see. Um, but for me, it's like to me, it's uh, that's a big thing. And if you're because it'll be interesting to see how this Viking fans move forward because obviously half the people want a Kirk gone is black and white the other half wanted him here it just a like a hundred percent black and white completely divided this fan base between one or the other and now it'll be interesting to see what goes forward here because initially of course the Kirk people there's already some people out there who are like okay like i see the situation the whole money situation he did ask for more then you see the kirk people saying that you're all gonna regret this all this kind of stuff ultimately everybody is gonna have to, like he's gone regardless if you like it or not he's gone so everybody is gonna hopefully come back for one for a while until like the next player comes that everybody likes or not probably from the quarterback position but hopefully we all love him hopefully he comes in and it's just obvious that he's a baller um that's what we need and that's what we deserve but like as far as the money situation goes with this I am surprised because I, I like I like her cousins and he is a great guy. He's a good competitor, really good, really good football player. A hundred percent. Do I feel like he has absolutely what it takes to go and win a championship? I do not because he hasn't proved it. But now I feel a little bit more that he doesn't. I argue it. I I personally feel like he ultimately took the bag in this situation. He went out instead of staying with us. And maybe Atlanta Falcons could be in a better position. I still like our offensive talent much better easier than division. theirs. Yeah, and easier division. So he could be he going there. I mean, there's a chance he's thinking it's like a, he gets both. But going there and and say after like the idea of him coming back for a team-friendly deal and going there and 45 million, four years, 100 million guaranteed. 
Um, you feel like he's definitely chasing the money, which makes me feel like I, I think he really does care about the money. And I do think over probably ultimately over winning, at least that's what that signing shows to me. And I don't care. I don't care. He's allowed to do that. I don't blame him to go and grab the bag. I don't at all. Like, I don't blame him one second for doing that. If you feel you should go grab what you think is worth what you're worth. But that doesn't mean that you prefer winning a championship over money. That's just how it doesn't mean that. Like yeah. you see the Tom Brady's out there who even if he has enough money in this world, whatever, he still didn't do that. He still decided he took less money because he already made a ton to try to make the team better or whatever. So those it's just a different between them. But that's all right that Kirk Cousins did that. And I don't blame him for doing that either. So Kirk Cousins, Kirk Cousins signs with, okay. Kirk Cousins signs with the Atlanta Falcons. Vikings moving on. There's going to be a new quarterback in Minnesota. We want to know your thoughts. Drop them in the comment section. See you guys next time. Let's go Vikes.